Hello guys, I'm Roshna Khanal and in this video I'll be telling you guys how I got 8.5 in my listening test. I'm actually not a good listener but some tips and tricks with repeated practice helped me a lot. So I'll be sharing my experience in this video. Before jumping straight into my experience, I want to give some overview about IELTS test, especially in listening section. In IELTS, there are four sections, listening, reading, speaking and writing. In listening section, there are four parts. Part one is the conversation by two speakers. Part two is a speech by a speaker part 3 is the discussion or the conversation between multiple speaker and part 4 is a speech by a speaker so this whole process or this whole audio is of around 40 minutes but it can vary personally for me it was around 35 minutes i don't really remember but it was definitely not 40 minutes during my test the question during the test gets progressively harder so part four is the toughest part while part one is the easiest one there will be total 40 question and the audio will be played only once expect it to be played only once there will be no pausing no repeated audio listening so for this test you must be a good listener so I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks how I became one. First is I used to practice every single day for one month. Then I got band nine, band eight repeatedly in every exam. So I decreased the frequency into once a week. Then after I practiced only a day before the test because I was very sure about my listening skill. For you guys, I suggest you to practice one or two tests every single day for one week then uh, see how your band score is and according to that you can increase in your frequency or decrease according to the band score you need like if you are getting sick six and your target is band nine then you should you must increase your frequency of practicing uh, practicing every single day as on to help so try practicing two tests per day and yeah Second tip is read the question before the conversation is being played. In that way, you know about the question, the option given, then your mind is so set that you can grab the answer very quickly in whatever way the question is being paraphrased and put in the conversation. So there will be a, a minute gap between each part and they, they will give you time to look the question and read the question understand the question in that time you should swiftly read all the question don't leave even one question unread because that is the question you will like make mistake or miss the answer at last so read every question don't miss anything then you will get the answer of every question given in that test third one is i used to practice listening the conversation once in actual exam you will not hear the conversation played repeatedly there is no option for pausing so don't do that in while practicing as well if you miss some answer or you didn't heard about that answer then leave it go for the another question and at the end of the test come back see why how you missed that answer why what was the reason you missed it then again practice it and you will learn something one or two from that mistake as well so don't repeat the audio again and again during the test don't pause it just go with the flow again come and see what why you made the mistake and you will learn a lot from that fourth tip is i was familiarized with different type of questions since you already know i practiced a lot of question in a month so i got to um, practice fill in the blanks match multiple choice mass matching question flow chart maps start these kinds of question and in the actual test i had a map so map is the toughest 
question in listening test but i did great because i was previously exposed i had practiced that type of question so it becomes easy if i have already been fam familiarized to those type of question next important tip is read the instruction properly instruction saying one word only two word only write the alphabet write true or false like choose two uh, option like a b or a z if you are going to choose only a then it will be wrong right because g is not there there is there is about choosing two but you are choosing only one means another question is being uh, omitted so read the instruction very carefully my last tip is expect the wrong answer also being played in the conversation because they will try to confuse you such as especially dates 1st january 2nd january 3rd january there will be in a conversation but your job is to listen it very carefully and select the right answer because they will try you lure you into selecting the wrong answer so now let's uh, see what type of question uh, you will get in listening test and how to deal with them uh this is the first uh this is the type of question you will get in uh, part 1 where it is about fill in the blanks um first read the question before the conversation is being played because there will be one minute or two to read the question very fast read the question and expect what type of answer you will get in each number like what type of number will get you get in one one will be about numbers two will be about this this three have that preset in your mind what type of answer will be told in the conversation and expect something like that and your mind will totally grasp grasp that answer being said uh, this is the easiest one as well so this is the table type of question which is also normally found in part 1 you should very carefully read the headings of heading and expect what type of answer you will be getting it is a little bit confusing here uh, table is more confusing than fill in the blanks as soon as you suspect that that word is a answer then write it immediately don't think that oh it may not be the answer write it down and if another co answer comes then you write that down as well and then decide what may be the right answer because in conversation you will uh, feel that one answer is more correct than the other one and at last choose the good answer the right answer because sometimes it feels like that is not the answer and then after you you won't write it right because you feel like that's not not the right answer and after some time the answer will never be said meaning that the first thing said was the answer uh, and you forgot it because you were so keen in listening to the conversation that you forgot the initial answer and at last that was the answer and you forgot it so write it down as soon as even the thought come that it's it may be the answer then write it down immediately this is the map type of question this is the hardest one in the listening test even i got it in my test so while doing this type of question uh, look everything about this map from west get remember what is in west what is in east what is in south and what is where river is in north lily pond is in center know everything about this map and read the question as well 15 to 19 statue of dine gosforth everything everything you have to read you have to know about the map very well and then the conversation will be played and you will get to get a hang of how you will 
like look for answer like they will be telling about south uh, south gate and the north before reaching the lily pond there is a statue of dine for gosford then if you know about south gate and lily pond then you will definitely know where the statue of dine gosford is located in that way you won't miss the answer so this is how a map is uh, collect the answer now we should also know about the direction north south east west which will also help behind in front of below is also a common words used during listening uh, of the map another type of question is multiple choice question in which you should choose two options uh, so before dealing with this type of question as well read the question very properly uh, before the conversation is being played then after it's very easy to uh, know the right answer expect these option be being told in the conversation and your job is to very carefully listen to that conversation and extract the right answer uh, this is the a chart question uh, this is very easy because in a certain way the the information is being flowed and you can um, find the answer very uh, fast but you should read what this flow chart is about headings of headings what uh we what type of answer we should put in the fill in the blanks what type of answer we can expect in the conversation and then we can uh find the answer and don't miss anything at last we have matching question this is generally found in part 3 we should read the question then read the option then listen to the conversation and our eyes should uh, very be very focused in the information because the question will be played in the sequential order because fresh food commercial manager in talk will come before agronomist so we should not be very focused in this question but rather in the option we should be looking uh, at the option and match the correct option to that to go to the question this is the way how we deal with this type of question now i think you got to know one or two thing about listening test regarding the materials uh, which you use uh, for practicing listening I practiced in my own without to any consultancy or taking online classes. I watched YouTube videos. There are 18 Cambridge book whose videos are readily available on YouTube. You can type Cambridge 18 test 1 and there will be a video being played write the answer, check the an answer at the last and replay the video if you want to see what mistake you made. So from Cambridge one book to eighteen book, there are a lot of test question. Each book has four test question, means there are a lot of thing to practice from. Another method is IELTS Premium. I suggest you to book um, IELTS test two month before the actual date when you are giving the exam. Then uh, IELTS Premium version will automatically unlocked. There are around twenty five to thirty test question from which you can. practice um ielts test ielts listening test uh, those question are the exact way the question will be presented in your ielts exam specially come to best listening test so book the test from british council will help a lot because you will have access to those 25 to 30 listening questions so yeah i also used this two method to practice listening test and i got 8.5 man score you can get it too because yeah practice makes man perfect i hope this video help you guys a lot if you know uh, different materials different experience then please do share in the comment section below 
थैंक यू गाइज बाय